Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today is my next installment of September. Super exciting. Oh my gosh, there has been some excellent soup recipes all through September. I am loving it and I hope you are too. This collab is put on by Amanda over at The Beals and it includes several channels. I will leave the playlist and a link to everybody's channel in the description box below for you. As well as the recipe for the soup I am doing today, I will put that link in the description box for you. Um, and it will take you right to my blog, that way you can print off the recipe. I try to make it as easy as I possibly can for you. Today I am making a roasted cauliflower soup. Let's get started! I have my oven heated to 425 degrees. I have one head of garlic. I just cut the top off of it. I'm going to leave that there. I have two heads of um, cauliflower and one of them kind of froze a little bit. I don't care. I'm still using it. <laughs> My fridge outside's getting kind of wonky and it gets too cold in the bottom. Okay, so I've got that. I've got one onion and I have just chopped this one onion and it's just a plain yellow onion. I have a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. I'm just gonna put those right in. So I've got my thyme, my garlic. Oh, and there's my timer. I have one fresh sage leaf. Sage gets really strong, so I don't like to use a lot of it. It will overpower my cauliflower. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna um, chop this up real quick. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it in. Um, if you like, if you really like the taste of sage a lot, you can definitely use more. I am going to put some salt. I am going to put some fresh cracked black pepper. If you like any other seasonings, you could totally put it in at this point. I'm, I've got just some regular old olive oil. Make sure I get it in there. Okay, I'm just going to toss these really good so that I know they're completely covered. Okay, into the oven to roast. I'm going to roast them for 15 minutes. We'll check them, see what they look like. Um, I'll stir them up in 15 minutes and then if they need to go back in for more roasting, which they probably will, I'll put them back in until they're nice and roasted. Okay, this is what they're looking like now. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. I just wanna stir these up a little bit. Little pieces are starting to roast. Garlic's looking good. Yum. Roasting the garlic, or ro <laughs> Roasting the garlic and roasting the um, cauliflower before you turn it into soup is nice because you get so much extra added flavor from roasting. Okay. By the way, I just want to point out, I got these new hot mitts from Geek Home. I love them. They come in a set and are nice, easy gripping, and you know what else too? You can rinse them. You know how many times I get things on my glove? I love these things. If you're interested, I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for you with a coupon code as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get these back into the oven and I'm gonna roast these for about 15 more minutes. I think 30 minutes in all. Okay, these are done. Let's turn them into a soup. I actually wanna take the garlic off. I need to squeeze that in. Everything else I'm going to put in here. Um, the thyme, as soon as this cooks for a few minutes, when before I blend it, I'll pull the thyme sticks out. The woody part of the thyme.
four cups of water. You can use chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth, you can use mushroom broth. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some chicken bouillon. Probably two, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. I wanna cook it the rest of the way in here. So I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it kind of simmer on you know, a medium heat for about 15 minutes. We're gonna blend it and then we're gonna be ready to go. I forgot my roasted garlic. I gotta put that in too. You can turn these over and you can squeeze it like it. You can squeeze it right in. Um, but sometimes that gets super messy and it leaves some of my garlic in. I actually just take the sharp end of a knife and pull them out. And I've been roasting garlic like this for many years. This way it just it pulls out the whole clove. Okay, and they are all in. Except for this one little piece left. There. Pulling it out with a knife leave, pulls everything out. It leaves nothing behind. If you turn around and scrunch it, you're gonna leave some of that leftover garlic in there. Okay, on with the original plan. Let's get this cooking. And these are already getting soft from roasting it in the oven, but ooh, it's a nice golden brown roasty flavor. Yum! In my food processor, no, it's a blender. Um, I have all my veg. I'm gonna put in two more cups of water. They suck that broth up, let me tell you. Okay, if you can, really hard to get you at a good angle to see this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and I wanna blend it. And I'm gonna blend it for a few minutes until everything is completely smooth. Okay, I am pouring it back into the pan. I'm gonna turn my heat back on. I'm adding heavy cream. And then I'm gonna taste it for salt. I know it's gonna need salt. Oh yum. I am going to throw in some salt. I'm going to put in some more black pepper. And then I like to finish it off with butter. You can finish it off with olive oil if you prefer olive oil. You could drizzle the olive oil in, whatever you want to do. I just want to bring it back up to heat. It is ready. Okay, at this point, you could stir in some cheese. Um, a good cheese would be um, a smoked Gouda or just a Gouda cheese. A Havarti cheese would be really good in here. Um, Swiss would be good in here. Parmesan would be good. A white cheddar. And you could do a half a cup. You don't want to overdo it, but a half a cup of cheese melted in here would be really good. Okay, in mine, I have some garlic, some buttery garlic croutons. You can use packaged or homemade. I have a little bit of sour cream and I have Parmesan. You could totally uh, stir in some cream cheese into this instead of heavy cream. That would be really good. You could serve these with little oyster crackers. You could um, swirl in some additional crema or you could do um, pesto, like a red pesto or a green pesto. You could swirl a little bit of it in. Oh my gosh, that would be delicious. I love roasted cauliflower soup. Oh, I wanna get a little bit of cream cheese. And it looks velvety because we put the butter in at the end. If you finish it off with your butter or your olive oil, then you get that velvety finish. And that is so good. Roasting your cauliflower first and your broccoli gives it so much more flavor. Mm-hmm. With some crusty bread or a grilled cheese. Mm-hmm. Yum.
You gotta try this one. All right, that's all there is to the roasted cauliflower soup. Not a ton of ingredients, yet so delicious. I love it. It's actually one of my favorite comfort foods. All right, folks, make sure that you go to everybody in the collabs channel and check their channel out. You're going to want to subscribe to everybody. You're going to want to watch all the videos in September, like them and comment on them for your chance to win. And I have no idea what it is yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great. And you're not going to want to miss out on your chance to win. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.